Hi, let's talk about food chains, food webs, and energy, plus the biomass in ecology. So energy flows in different ways through the ecosystem. Um, so first you have to know what a primary consumer is. Primary consumers eat producers. Producers are the plants. So as you can see, this one, the grasshopper, it only eats plants, so it's a primary consumer. A secondary consumer eats these primary consumers. They eat these guys, like the grasshoppers. So that could be like a skunk. Skunks eat bugs. So after secondary consumer is tertiary consumer. These guys, they eat secondary consumers. So what might eat a skunk? Well, owls do. Okay, so in ecosystems, we have trophic levels. Each step in a food chain or food web or food pyramid is called a trophic level. Here we have a food chain, meaning it just goes one after the other, after the other, after the other, and it's just like a straight line. This isn't as realistic as a food web is, but it's easy to understand. So at the bottom of the chain, we've got the producers, which are the plants. Then we have the primary consumer eats those producers. Why would the arrow be pointing into to that area? Why isn't it pointing the other direction? Well, the arrow, you can see on the bottom here, points to the eater and shows the transfer of energy going into that organism. So the sun's energy would actually be pointed into this plant and then the plant goes into the primary consumer, and then the primary consumer goes into the secondary consumer, secondary consumer goes into tertiary, and tertiary goes into quaternary. Quaternary means four, tertiary means, well, I shouldn't say it that way because here they say these levels. So we can look at this trophic level. The first trophic level is always the producers, the plant life. Then the second trophic level is that primary consumer. And then third, fourth, fifth. Okay, and you can see energy is flowing to the next level. Now, this is where, again, the food chain is a very simple model. The food web is a little more um, difficult, but this is more reality. So here we have the primary producer, the plant life, and then whatever is eating that is the primary consumer. It's eating the plant, eating the plant, eating the plant, okay? But this deer doesn't only eat this kind of plant, it eats this kind of plant. So it's got arrows going into it from here too. Okay, so the rabbit, you look down here, the fox might eat it, but the owl might eat it too. So it depends on what eats it um, because like owls don't only eat one type of food. So the owl might eat the rabbit, it might eat the chipmunk, it might eat this bird, it might even eat this rodent over here. So this is why it's a food web. It looks more like a web. Okay, so in the pyramid, it's the same type of thing. It's just laid out a little differently. So here on the bottom, we have the primary producers, which are the plants. Then we have the primary consumers. They eat the plants. So of course the arrow is gonna go up. Here we go, arrow going up. Secondary consumers eat these guys, arrow goes up. And then the arrow goes up, arrow goes up. Now the the crazy thing about this is that all the energy in this level doesn't actually make it up through this level because 
only 10% of the energy is transferred to the next level. So this energy that is stored in this these grasses or the, the plant life, only 10% of the energy in there actually gets used by this, this um, animal up here. It's, that's all that's transferred up there. The rest is lost to heat, most of it. Most of it is lost to heat because these animals end up giving a lot of heat off um, and that's what it's used for. So as it moves up the chain, only 10% actually transfers to the next level. Okay, energy, um, I'm sorry, biomass. Biomass is how much mass this product actually has. So you'll notice that's the biggest part of the pyramid. The next has a smaller total mass. The next has a smaller total mass. And that's why we have a lot of plant life that has to support the fewer primary consumers. And then we have a lot of these primary consumers, but we have even fewer secondary consumers. That's because it, these guys need to eat a lot of these to actually survive. So at the top, the quaternary consumers, there's very few of them, but this whole pyramid is pretty much supporting that big guy up there. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've got de decomposers over here too because they aren't part of this actual pyramid. They are just taking it and taking the waste and dead matter and making it back into nutrients for these plants again. And again, we have a lot of heat being lost here. That's the energy that's not getting transferred. The 90% that doesn't get to the next level. <laughs>